All right, fronts. So previously we were talking about the different air masses, the different blobs of air in the atmosphere. Well, <clears throat> when they're up in the atmosphere, they actually, they kind of want to contain to themselves. They're kind of going to be a blob on their own. But they do run into other blobs that are near them. And when they run into other blobs, that's where we get weather. That's where storms end up happening is where the, on these edges where two air masses are colliding with one another, right, where two of them are colliding. And that is called a front. So anytime we see these kind of lines on a weather map, that means that that's where blobs of air are colliding. And if you want to see what does that look like, if you look at, click on the link for current U.S. weather map, this is what it looks right now while I'm making the video. But there's all these lines here, and that is showing the edges of air masses. So we can predict that this big, long front that goes down towards Michigan, it's including Canada here, that's going to have some continental polar air, cold, dry air is up there. And then we can predict as well that below this front, down below, this is where we're going to have some maritime tropical air coming in. And we can see that where we see rain on these weather maps is where we see these fronts. There's a big, huge front right here through Louisiana, all the storms, the storms up over here in Seattle because we see all these different lines. And we can tell that there's different lines, different kind of color patterns, and that means different kinds of fronts. So there actually are four different kinds of fronts, which I will get to in four separate videos so that this video is not insanely long. But the main thing to know is that we are now looking at the boundaries, the edges of blobs.